What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Home Title Lock for sponsoring today's video. Home Title Lock is the number one leader in home title protection. You guys can protect your home equity and title for just pennies a day. Home Title Lock has 24 hour monitoring for your title and will send you instant alerts if they detect tampering with your title or mortgage. Something I didn't know and maybe you guys at home did not know is homeowner's insurance does not cover the theft of your title. Title fraud is when somebody steals the title or deed of your home for their own financial gain. Thieves can simply change ownership of your home from you to them. Then they take out loans on your home and then disappear, which leaves you with all the payments and mountains of bills. All a thief needs is your street address and the name on your title, which is all public record. So if you guys want to protect your home equity and title, click the link down in the description down below go to hometitlelock.com slash flair and use my promo code flair to try home title lock risk free for 30 days that is hometitlelock.com slash flair and make sure you use my promo code flair to try home title lock risk free for 30 days huge shout out to home title lock for sponsoring today's videos brands like them that i partner up with that allow me to do what i do every single day which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy so with that being said enjoy the rest of today's video Welcome back to another video. We are starting the day off. Boy, Ralphie, what you doing, buddy? You want some Scooby Snacks or what? We are heading Tractor Supply. We could get some Scooby Snacks. Speaking of that, yes, we are going Tractor Supply. It is going to be a good day. That's what I was thinking, Ralphie. What you want? You want a Scooby Snack? We can get you some Scooby Snacks at Tractor Supply. They've got all the goods for big boy Ralph. What you thinking? Good morning. Having a good day so far? How's the weather up there? Doing all right? Anyways, we got to get these guys fed. We are going to Tractor Supply. We're doing something that you guys requested. A lot of you guys commented on the last video. What were we buying at Tractor Supply last time? Feed. When we bought all the feed and we built all the shelves. That was the day that we got everything kind of fixed up and then transported all the fish. We bought some feed. Speaking of that, we do need to refill this at some point. We went to Tractor Supply. We were kind of walking around goofing around and you know they've got a bunch of the little bro pads they had a side by side that was a coleman brand then they've got a is it go kart i want i keep trying to say golf cart go kart we were dogging it because it's 1500 bucks and but all you guys were like bro just get it and take off the governor and you'll be all right and i'm over here like what's the governor got to do with this and then we started looking it up and realized the governor is something you can potentially take off do you take off the governor is that the proper way to say that yeah. i'm gonna take the governor off take the governor off and what the governor does is it restricts the rpms yeah. the speed the, like that it makes you go fast that's all that matters the governor prevents you from going fast you take the governor off now you're lightning mcqueen that is the plan so everyone was saying that honestly it's a good deal for 1500 bucks if you take the governor off because it rips so i was like all right so we started doing a little bit of research last night we're like man should we go buy it we feel like we haven't bought a toy for a while i mean i've bought side by sides and atvs but like i mean a toy like something that is literally just there to goof around on it isn't really like a work vehicle of any kind anything like that so that was kind of what we were thinking we're like maybe maybe we should go buy it maybe we should so we started doing some research on the old governor trick carol how's it going this morning buddy you doing big carol things you hanging out you doing good buddy we gotta make sure these guys got plenty of water but yeah we we're gonna go to tractor supply we can get you know, some scooby snack and all the goods that they need here on you got it ah you got it and hopefully go send it off some jumps and you know potentially get hurt hopefully not so that's the plan get the uh, go-kart i hope that we can just buy the floor model if we gotta put the sucker together beefcake mechanic tire beefcake pit crew i'm not sure is is up for it oh sheesh ralph we've been drinking hella water out here son get this sucker filled up oh sheesh well, see, we got our second tub, so he's been fine. It's not like they haven't had water. Anyway, so that's pretty much the plan. Go get the go-kart, bring it back, rip it around. We're going to clock our speed before we do any type of altering with it at all and just to see how fast it goes. Take it around. We could bring it in the animal pen and rip around. Oh, yeah. you, think, you think Ralph would step on you? He might beat your ass. And you're like stuck in the car and he's just bah, bah, bah. Like, what would you even do? That would kind of suck. The donkeys would get you. The donkeys oh, would the get after it. Or we could always take it up there and start ramping up some of these terraces. And then, once you figure out how fast it goes, get the hang of it, we're going to take it into the Beefcake Auto Shop up there and tear the whole sucker apart and remove this said governor thing. Then you said nitrous. You know a guy, yeah, Craig. Know, Craig, yeah. Craig the nitrous guy. Yeah. Craig. We're going to get some nitrous hooked up and just see how fast we can go. It is a beautiful day out here. It's not great for hunting. You know, hunting is usually good on cold fronts. Today's going to be like 65 and sunny. So we're like, well, we don't really want to hunt. What are we going to do? Let's go buy a go-kart. Keep wanting to say golf cart. We just go buy a go-kart, tune it up, ring, 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 and then send it off. 
and blow it out. So, you guys stay tuned. We made it, folks. Two tractor super. We are ready. We got the trailer. Get it. So there is a floor model. I am not gonna take anything else. Meaning I'm not putting this sucker together. Beefcake pit crew auto part dealer. No, we may take off this governor thing everyone talks about, but I am not going to put it, this thing together. We ain't got time for that. I'm trying to rip this sucker. So I guess we gotta get some snacks for Ralph. Maybe go find some Scooby snacks for him. This is it. Oh baby. <laughs> 1500 why is that so expensive that is just crazy look at this there's no way two grown men can fit in there bro so what kind of engine oh my gosh it's literally a lawnmower engine wow 196 so that means 196 cc's i bet so 200 cc's so it could be worse i'm guessing oh you get a, i just realized there's like a little fat you can put you your deer back here you can put the deer imagine the deer just the thing we can do is somebody could sit here do you think we could pop a wheel if somebody sat yeah. on this and then gunned it or you could just fill this with sandbags and then you could yeah. pop you could pop your own wheelies. Okay, so that's what we gotta go talk to the right. gentleman inside here and see if they'll give us the format. We also gotta get Scooby snacks. So you remember when I bought the bro pen? Eight hundred dollars. I still have it. I should try to get that sucker fired up. Maybe I can talk to Papa Beefcake and see if he has any ideas. I don't know, maybe 196 seats. Oh, so it's the same engine. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. Did, did this one go it's literally I mean it got going. Here's the thing, if we learn how to take the governor off that and we fix mine, we can take the governor off the other one too. It's the same engine. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's go inside and see if we can find Ralph some Scooby snacks. Stay tuned. All right, so my name's Ralph. What am I eating? There's no way they got camel nibbles here. What was that? Uh, the Forbidden Lava Rock. Crunchy apple and oat. Oh, I bet he could eat those. That's for horses. I mean, he's Camels. the same size as a horse. Apple and oat. God, that is just scary to me. I've given him alfalfa bites and he hadn't died. So, I mean, I know like yeah. it's one of those, it's one of them things. Things like, and do you want to take the risk that he's gonna die? You would think he's not gonna die, but you just never know. Motivation. Wow, this is this that's a scoop dreams are made of there, son. You can scoop a lot. Four quarts. Well, yeah, right, we're getting that. Let's get the four quart scoop. I'm ready for that. Well, let's go to the other side. So I think all the horse stuff's on this side. So I'll find what I've given him before. I probably still have some, but they're probably kind of old. Oh, right here. Alfalfa. Are these squares? No. So I've given him alfalfa squares. Right here, cubes, Al Timothy cubes. I don't need a big bag. Male goats can't have alfalfa. You see, you'd be surprised, right? It's just a grass. They'll bloat and die. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't be having those. So, oh, look. what do you think? What do they say? It says, I looked up, what kind of treats can you give camels? Okay. And it says, carrots, apples, and apple-flavored horse treats. Oh, no way it actually says that. Apple-flavored horse... I mean, then I guess we got to get into the nay nibblers. <laughs> the nay nibblers. The nay nibblers. <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe it says apple flavor. Okay. I mean, <laughs> listen, if he dies, it's on whoever wrote that article. Not me. Okay. No, I, I th he's fine, bro. He's a camel. They live he's in the desert. Different. So he'll be all right. Okay. So we got nay nibblers. Anything else just around here that you're thinking, man, uh, could really use a posted private property sign because all these darn traps, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there anything? Taking off the governor, you guys haven't seen any like special tools, right? I mean, I've got lots of tools. Any, you just got all the tools. basics, yeah. basic tools to drain the oil. We need oil yeah. pans. Yeah. To catch the oil, maybe? I don't think I have any oil pans. No, you can just use a dish. You got oil? Do I have? No. What oil does it need? Let's, uh, let's do a little quick. I mean, I probably have it, but we should. Now, see, now we're, now our brain's turning. Oil? Uh, good, because we would have needed we would have needed it, and we would not have had it. Would not have been good. So, wow, these are five bucks? Well, I might buy, like, 16 pairs. I always need some of these. 100% what size. Large XL. Let me see if these suckers fit my mitts. Because I'm always needing some little work gloves. These are only five bucks, bro, and they look really? legit. Let's Ooh. get a bunch. Let's get a bunch. Say low, less. Yeah, low-key, low-key. Ooh, leather? Genuine cowhide? Dude, these are good work gloves. I'm not sure about the white strat. It's kind of throwing me off a little. But I like it. But for be... $9, bro? Okay, we're going to... This has nothing to do with what we're doing. But we're... Okay, so we'll get that. You get yours. And then we're going to be working on big projects. We need to make sure we've got lots of genuine leather. Boom. Okay, we, we figured out well yet? It's got to be something similar. Like some, I'm guessing it's like a 10W30 or yeah. something. Some strat like that. Like, I don't... Maybe anything too wild and crazy. But I'm telling you, boys, this is going to be step one in our... Go-kart build series? Well, just tinkering with engines. I want to say that's one thing. There's a lot of things I don't know. But, like, huh. that's the one space in, like, the realm of what we do yeah. that I am, like, you might as well be speaking Spanish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I took three years of it. Couldn't yeah. tell you nothing about it. <laughs> kind of the same thing. So, there's an oil pan. Probably a little quart mess drain pan. Probably just... I like just a big M one like that. I mean, because then you just... Now we got a shopping cart. Then, it's, then you don't have to... Like, those ones are okay, but I've had it come out and then it splashes, hits me in the cornea, and then I'm just <laughs> MIA, you know what I'm saying? So, we don't need that. I have funnels, I'm sure. You know service, huh? There's no service in this joint. No service. Yeah, I know. Do you know there's even oil in it? Do they sell it with oil in it? I think they would have to because they put it together on the floor. Like, I don't know if they did Would they fill it with oil, though? You look at the manual and see what oil it takes. Yeah. Light bars? You want to put some light bars on this sucker or what? I mean... Or we, yeah. Maybe lights are part two. We don't need to pay for... Lights. No, That's no. Like, it's kind of expensive, yeah. Yeah, it is. No, we, we need to put a 
winch on in case we get stuck. <laughs> Dude, we should just trick we this sucker. Some, gotta get it smelling good. Actually, I, I do need these for my truck. Okay. These are the strat right there. Yeah, <laughs> these are the good stuff. We should totally trick out, put a winch on it. Bro, we should. <laughs> that rack in the back could easily hold a battery that you could run the lights and the winch oh, off yeah. of. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe part two. If you guys really like these types of videos, part two, we will trick it out. We'll put lights, bigger tires, we'll put winches on it. We'll do all that good stuff. I do need, oh, these are super expensive, but I know we will need these. So when we move the barns, which has nothing to do with today's video at all, whatsoever. You need these big mommies. $17 for one. No way. I only need two, but yeah, man, big rip, huh? These are just to move barns one of these days. What else you got? Wow, excuse you. Okay, well, we're gonna figure out what oil it takes, make sure we have at least what we need there. Anything else? I feel like I'm always walking around like, oh yeah, I could use one of those. This, like, uh, this store is the worst for me. I almost buy stuff I don't ever need. <laughs> Anything else? I think we're good. Okay, we were correct. It did not come with oil, and it's 10W30. Almost like I've done this before. No, I, I haven't done this before, but 10W30 is like pretty generic, which I probably have, but where's that racing stuff? We're trying to go fast. 10W30, full synthetic oh, yeah. motor oil. I mean, I, think, I would assume that's plenty. One this quart? Person, yeah, this doesn't even need one quart at all. Oh, point six three quart, so have a little over half a quart? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be perfect. How you doing right there? Remember when we said we came in here for nibbles and go-karts? Yeah. This is what happens when you come to tractor yeah. spot. Man, we should open a tractor spot. There's no reason to, but these are my favorite stores. The problem is I don't need to open one because there's already one here, but like, man, they just have so much cool stuff here. Anything over here? Do you think we can kill something with this? We can kill time with that thing. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, American flags. So you were saying. Yeah. yeah but we got we got to zip, zip tie some back there. Yeah, exactly. We got to have some freedom screaming here. That's it right there. Some of those bad boys. Let's Bingo go. bango. All right, now, are we good? Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you 1 million percent? Positive, we don't need anything else while we're sitting here. Positive. Nope. Need a hat, need some boots, need a turkey fryer, need a grill, need a gun safe. No? Nice? Yeah, no? I think we're good. Um, shovels? Also my favorite section right here. No, it's not even clearance. It's just let me put it here so Flair come, walks by and buys it. I'm just like, oh, you know, I could really use a new pipe wrench with, you know, just yeah, say the fresh word. out. Think Anything? Come on. You what do you got for me? Cheap knives? I'm always buying cheap knives. Cheap no? Cheap no? Okay. All right. See you guys outside. Oh, he's got one right there. Whoa. It's put together, right? Looks okay. like it. Load it up, baby. All right, we'll just do one in the front and one around the back. There's no way this sucker's fast, right? I don't it's know. tiny, bro. She ain't going nowhere, boys. See you guys back at the house. Shoo, we made it back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. We just realized something, so if we're gonna test it and then take the governor off, we're gonna have to fill it with oil oh. and fuel and then drain it and then take the governor off and then put it back. This is gonna be messy. Uh, we're gonna learn this motor one way or another. And then that thing, that's, that's got, yeah, it's an identical motor. I thought it was. It's the same size. It still has a price tag. Has that? inflation hit it? Let's see, 600 bucks. That was 899. Talk about some inflation. I could sell and make it. I didn't know these things appreciated. The thing's got like a half a mile on it, maybe. I do know the chain The chain is loose on it too. So I remember it like ringing and dinging. So yeah, it's the same same engine. Pretty close to the same engine. Maybe it's not. Or is this one? Yeah, it's 196 cc, yeah. so is this. So it's the same, basically the same thing. I don't know if it's 100% identical, but same cc is meaning we should be able to race these suckers. And you want some starter fluid? Do you think that'll help? Yeah, this, the bro pads seen better days. That's for darn sure. So we got some, the seafoam auto marine stuff, which I've seen people use. I don't know what for, but I got it. And then we got starting fluid as well. But you ever use the seafoam stuff? For a car one time, yeah. What? Whoa, what? what? Choke. There you go. Now you're good. Oh, no! Oh, you killed I it. I killed it. Oh. Let's go. It's going. Oh no. No Don't way. The starter the starter fluid. fluid. I can't believe it works that good. <laughs> like literally this thing sat for two years. Couldn't ever get started. You spray it on there and you're One done. Pull, baby. You're done. Pull. That's all you need is a little done. bit of that. Yeah. There you go. Get this man a helmet. My BK's gonna get hurt. I can't believe it. that thing has sat for three years. And I was like, I don't know, I gotta take it in somewhere. And we were we were talking about it, and you're like, just get starter fluid. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Pop beefcake, <laughs> he did take it off. He he put fresh fuel in it, which the fuel is three years old. So now we get to race these suckers. Let's... What we'll do is we'll race them without the governor. Take the governor off this one, take the governor off that one, and then we'll rip them both. That thing without the governor is gonna be scary. Oh god, it's easy there. Look out, buddy. Coming in hot. Woo! Coming in hot. Wow, the bro pad lives like another day. 
Yeah, we gotta tighten that chain just a little bit. She's a little bouncy. Dude, I'm so excited we get to race them now. That makes it so much better. Oh, oh, easy, <laughs> easy. Okay, let's not get hurt yet. We need to get that ready. We'll just race them. And then we're gonna take the governors off of both of them. And then we'll race them again. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that worked. Just a little bit of spray and that's all it took. Clean the spark plug off. Spark plug, that also helps oh, yeah, too. All right, well. Rope head's back up and alive now. We just gotta get this go-kart off the trailer. Which one do you think is gonna go faster? I mean, this one, that one's a lot lighter, I would imagine, right? I got my money on. I bet this one will get it off on the start, but that would be good job. Do you think I it will? I money on the mini bike. The mini bike, huh? It might, it might. All right, well, get this sucker off. And we'll roll her into the shop. We'll get her fueled up, oiled up, run her. And then we gotta drain the oil. The thing is we gotta drain the oil on that one too. So it's not, we're just gonna make one big mess, which is fine. Yeah, to get the governor off, we gotta drain all the oil. Wait, huh? What? Is that, was that just laying there? It just was laying on the trailer, bro. Oh, jeez. That doesn't look important. No, oh, it's right here. It's, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah. It's right. It's one of these suckers. It, yeah, it's I one know. of these guys. I'm it's one of these doohickeys. Right here. Hey, what's Right up? there. Oh, are we missing a, we're missing a nut, yeah. Oh, we're missing actually two of them. There's one on each side. That doesn't look that important, though. Oh, That's for this to come up, but it can't with everything else. Yeah, screw it. Ugh. We didn't need those anyways. All right, let's roll her in. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Oh, baby. All right. So, first thing we gotta do, get some oil in it, gas. This engine is shipped without engine oil. We don't need these seat covers here. I'm excited about the bro bag, dude. I love that thing. I think it was, was this, like six point harness, like I said, for just like NASCAR drivers. This is the hardest part. Before we get too far, don't try this at home. I'm not trying to get sued, yeah. you know? We are trained professionals. Tell me, we're starting Beefcake Automotive. Oh, see. Maybe that's what we do this winter. Yeah. Just fix up stuff and that race stuff be... and ramp it in the snow. And it's cold, you got a nice heated shop. We could just start tinkering with stuff. Beefcake Automotive. All right. LLC. Starts today. This is the beginning. The beginning of tinkering with toys. I guess especially in the off season when it's winter, when you can't kill anything, can't hunt anything, can't fish. What better thing to do than come in the shop and start doing things that's probably illegal. Feeling good about that? I'm feeling good. So we need to do 20, 20 ounces. ounces. So make sure it don't start backfilling on you. I've done this before. It's like, oh yeah, there's no oil in all and it just starts spilling everywhere. Okay. You're telling me somebody could not have made that more visible for the human eye. Who do you think I am? Are you kidding me right now? You're, are you supposed to be able to see that? Yeah, you're supposed to. There's no way, dude. I mean, I've got good eyesight. This is crazy. Dude, I'm serious. You can't see it. It's actually impossible to see. There's, we need to put 20 in, right? Yeah, we need to put And there's how many in here? One quart? We need to go to where it hits 12. Okay, but Right? Yeah. That's all right. Okay, we're getting there. I can see it. I'm sure it'll be all right. Well, we were thinking that thing already had oil, but they said it didn't, so we filled it up, and oh. it's just pumping it right back out where we put it. So we're just filling the jug back up, and we gotta drain the oil anyways to get the governor off, so it's not a big deal if we overfill it with oil as long as it runs. Just to get, we just need a top speed. Top speed on this, yeah. top speed on the bro pad. We'll drain all the oils, get the governor removed. Again, I, I say that as if I know what that entails. I have no idea. And then put it all back together, re-oil it, and get it ready to rock and roll, and then we'll have the ultimate race. Post-governor bro pad versus the go-kart. Stay tuned. All right. Wow, they really didn't make this thing very easy easy. No. It's like, honestly. They were not thinking about this when they were putting it together. I think it's going to splash back up. Just go. Oh, let's go a little bit. Oh, no, we're chilling. I wonder what she gets per gallon. Dude, I never filled that bro pad up once. Really? Ever. In three years. You Gucci? I think we're Gucci, son. Oh, God. Here we go, <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like a little kid when I get these little suckers. What, is, what about the tires? We need some air on that. I'm telling you, this winter, when there's nothing else to do, uh, you guys are gonna see these kinds of things. Let's see what we got here. Max load, load. five PSI cold. It's not really cold though. Cold means just like not driving around, right? Oh, yeah, like right. cold is cold. You can push in. Is that normal? I think is that so. how go kart are yeah, supposed I think to be? So. so they put it to 10. It says five. What do you think? Oh, wait. What does it say? 15. What? <laughs> and that's at PSI? Yeah, I'm confused. Do we just rip her? I don't say just rip it, it's a go-kart. Dude, this back one's definitely not. Oh, that's three. Okay. Imagine it doesn't take long. I think we're good. Let's no. end it. Oh, your turning radius is non-existent on this. We got on, so that's the fuel. The choke is on. Kill switch. Uh, uh. Yeah, you might want that. Yeah, that's Woo it. Woo, buddy. Get in there. Drive with 
one hand and keep your butt. You have to hold yourself. It's scary. Like it just it whips so hard that I have to sit here and pull down like this. Woo! What was that? What was that sound? Why does it sound like that? Ah, that's smoking. It's good. It works. The, the turning radius isn't enough to drift, though. God, the only way I could drift is slamming on the brakes. Yeah, I might like the bro pad better. I don't know. Here's what I'll do. I'll go down to the purple dumpster, full throttle it back to you guys. And then whatever speed I'm at when I basically have to hit the brakes, we'll take the bro pad out there and do the same thing. We'll clock it. We're not going to race. We'll clock it just to see what we're, what we're at. And then we'll take the governors off and then we'll race. All right, let's see what top speed I can get the sucker up to. Here he comes. We got the zero to 60 time of like two to three business days. Bro Cohen's first ATV purchase. Oh, so we're, just get, we're taking the governor off, which makes it go faster. So we're just getting it tuned up more. Why did you spend $1,500 on a go kart? <laughs> what are you talking about? 22 miles an hour. Did it feel like you were cooking? I will say it, it doesn't have great acceleration, but like oh, you just, really? you consistently keep ah, up okay. and up and up and up and up. Let's get the bro pad out and see All what right. she can do. Sheesh, buddy. You know, you kids at home, you better be wearing helmets. Go kart's one thing, you should still wear a helmet, but anything on two wheels is a must. Nineteen was the fastest. Wow! So by three, was it three miles an hour? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of surprising. That's be a good race. I guess we didn't check tire pressure on these. They could be low. Could be potentially. So we got. We write this down. So we got nineteen and twenty-two. Who knows? Maybe the governor on this sucker with some properly inflated tires. Maybe you scoot. You know. All right. This is where Beefcake Automotive LLC gets started. Let's rip off these governors. We are ready, ladies and gentlemen. We just watched a video, and this guy did it fifteen minutes, and there is no way we have five hours. That's how much time we have. We gotta take this whole thing apart. So let's start by taking this sucker off. Yo, oh, whoa! We got better access. So we're gonna try doing this without removing the motor. Right? Perfect, okay. Do you wanna grab that oil pan in the truck? Yeah, I think that's gonna be our next step. We got NASCAR pit crew Chase is saying oil. Okay. Wow, there's parts. They did not have that on there. Huh? That's not what theirs look like? Well, you're scaring me now, son. You're telling me we're gonna have to DIY this? How are we gonna fix the belt problem? And the chain? All right, here we go. Let's see what Buddy had to do here. I don't remember seeing them belts yeah. on there and whatnot. I bet it's because he that's the chains and the belts is what you put on once you put it on. The mm. vehicle. And they, yeah. none of them have it on the vehicle. How do you get the belt off and on? And God, dude, this is way above my. <laughs> cannot be that hard. Bro, bro, we need a mechanic. You just pull that, take that off and slide. Dude, this thing will not, it's not gonna run tonight. I think we only need to take off this one. Just Pop that off, slide the belt off. Yeah. Cause we just need to get access to this. This is insignificant. Yeah. All right, let's start ripping it off. See what happens. Oh God, dude, there's too, there's too many parts. Yeah, make sure you get nice and close on this. There we go. Oh, okay, we're just gonna leave it on there right yeah. there. Oh. oh my gosh, dude, there's too many parts, bro. We're gonna do this. I'm glad you're confident. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't grab oh, you the didn't bolt. Grab the bolt. No. It's draining though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, go pick up the front end. Pick up the front end real quick. Here, watch out, I got it. What's it doing? Uh, it's still draining. Hey, grab that cardboard. How's that going? It's uh, going into the back. <laughs> Make sure that nut's out of the... Yeah, I got the nut. <laughs> hang on, hang on. All right, we're in business. Am I, you mean keep it up? Uh, no, no, you can put it back down. If the nut, I left the nut in there so it didn't drain. You're like, did one, you do one thing and take the nut out. Why does that right oil now? look like mucky? Hey, Apple is... cider, bro. <laughs> More that got intense for a second, bro. <laughs> I tried grabbing the, the bolt and it just slipped. I couldn't do I was it. Like... All right, now, we're ready. <laughs> I don't know. How... We don't think anything. I don't know if this will come out because it doesn't that just slide down the shaft. You know what I'm saying? We're going to pull it. This casing's going to come and just back into this. This, That's what this, I was whole, this whole 
piece don't come off. I mean, does the instructions have disassemblies of the engines or no? There's some higher level instructions right there. I mean, somebody surely knows how to take these suckers apart. There's one in the carburetor? Uh, well, we've got some stuff taken apart, so it will not start right now, I don't think. No. All right, well, there's a little like arm on the carburetor that the throttle cable is attached to. That's the one you're talking about. That's just to take off. Yeah. Grab that arm while the car, while the engine is running. Don't press the gas on the go kart. Grab that little arm and turn it for yourself and let it open up all the way and you'll hear it scream. You talking about this guy? Yeah. So show it to me. Show the other side. Go to the right of that little air box right there. All right, you see where that throttle cable is hooked up right there? Yeah. Grab that while the engine's running and push that as far as you can to the left right there. The engine will scream. You take that air box off, you can take that little screw loose and make the throttle cable go all the way. Yeah, so, there's, so literally just undo that screw. Okay, bet. Let's what do are that. We're busting That's, our balls. Why, right why shouldn't we also, just. Also, the pedal. The pedal might have a little stop behind it to keep kids from pressing the screw. I like that idea way better, dude. This what is way too much work. I never took the governor out of mine. And. My go kart, we do burnouts on blacktop. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're doing that. We'll just put it back together. Put it back together. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What was your, that gentleman's name? We gotta give him a shout out. Landon Inman. Landon, game changer, lifesaver. We're gonna try to put the whole thing get it back together. We didn't get too far. So yes, you can remove the governor. We're not gonna do that. What he said is you can take off the air box and the throttle basically has a stop. There's a little bolt. Yank the bolt out. You can also shorten the throttle cable so it pulls it even further. Foot pedal has a stopper as well. We'll get rid of. So this is gonna be like more of a episode one get it a little bit faster episode two if you guys want to see it we could add light bars winches and then take the governor off and really see what this sucker has let really let it scream so we're gonna get our put back then we'll restart and show you guys how we're gonna try to tune it up effectively efficiently without tearing this whole thing apart so stay tuned hey how's it going time to put the wheel we always put it back together she's yeah. good as new we're gonna actually leave the back rack off for now because it's actually easier to like mess with the components look how you oh look at that are you you're good oh, i am good okay okay so that would have been see this one you can actually read Okay, that was only four ounces. So we're at 22. So that means we put in 10. Mm -hmm. You're ready to keep going? Yeah. Cool. Just spilled. Okay, you're at 16. So it's full? <laughs> so they don't, they, so they, they lie to I us. I think you go to 20. They lie to us. Is it gushing again like it was? It is? Yeah. It's just pouring. Oh. There we go. Dude, I put in 16 ounces. D didn't it say it needed 20? Yeah. Why, how is that possible? I don't know. Maybe it would end. Oh, you oh, know what? what? It's because we got the sucker jacked up. Is that Stop? better? Yeah, it stops now. Okay, so go ahead and plug it. Okay. It's, I think it's on the, in the, on the top of my jug. It's close enough. Okay, so we're, are we, are we good though? We are. So we're full of oil. So, so we're, we're back to where we started. We have made no progress at this point. <laughs> Just like to fill engines filled with oil multiple times a day. That's what we do when we're bored. Why does it, it still looks like apple cider. Hang on, let me get it. No, that's that. still the old oil. Oh, that's old. Oh yeah. You see the new one? Oh yeah. See oh, we definitely one. have old oil in us. We want to kick it up on the blocks. Buddy said something about turning it on and letting it run while wow, you adjust. You adjust that so way. that way when you, when it's at its rest, it's not spinning. Cause basically he's saying if you tighten it too, much and you pull it it'll just it'll just go right yeah, and then you'll be chasing it down the would be what if we did that and then just like had ban banjo yeah start it up and go and he just <laughs> pulls in and just we should definitely do right. that pop a squat that okay, way then. you can be ready so just have your foot pressed against the, the, the brake. i mean i ain't gonna go anywhere yeah, imagine it just <laughs> takes out the shot so this is the air box what are you telling me yep so i just took that off fuel okay yeah, we're gonna beef this up. Cold air intake? Oh yeah. Versus yeah, the gonna... air intake, but well, we're gonna add a cold air intake, right? Like a huge, like oh, flu, turbo. turbo. I'm telling nitrous. We gotta, I'm telling you, we're V2 gonna is gonna be, nitrous pump we gotta start ordering here. parts. Okay. You know, See how it hits right there? So you can yeah. back that off or just take the whole thing take off. Take the whole thing off. Right. And we can tighten this. Yeah, so, we, it, yeah. so it pulls more, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And we can pull this through. That's what we're going for. Oh yeah, so we need we're to trying to find the adjustment right there. Okay, so let's take this guy out first, huh? Squeeze the gas. See how it stops? Now keep going. Push it. We'll take it all the way. I want to see the sucker scream, dude. Okay. There's still a little gap. That's because it's what's it hitting? pedal down here. See those two, I don't know, is that a bolt through the floor? Oh, it is, I can take it out. Oh, you can? Dude, yeah. Yeah, I can take that whole thing oh. out. There's oh. just, it's just a bolt. All right, here we go. This is my speed. I understand what's going on here right we now. Go. Is that loosening? Yeah, it should be loosening it. Oh, it's loose. Oh, it's loose? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. It is. Yeah, it's coming out. Okay, we're good. Got it. Now you gotta you gotta pedal to the metal and see. Loosen that real quick. Loosen that. Pull it just a little bit. And then just and then just see what it does. And okay. that's why we've got okay. it up on the block. Okay, okay, so okay. that it won't run okay, off. Okay, okay. All right, so so this just needs to get loose. Can you okay. pull it? There you go. So let me tighten it. Tighten it up and see what we're working. How far did you go through? 
Not, uh, a, not, lot. A, lot. Okay, good. not a lot. Okay. Uh, right. Pull it. <laughs> Throttle all the way. Oh, we are really oh. close. Let's we try see. it. If we crank it up, let's crank it up okay. and see. Like, ready? Yeah. Here you go. Hold, hold your foot up. Open her up. What do you think? Yeah, this is, makes a lot more sense. I'll take that much. Like, oh, there like you that. go. There that's, you that's go. That's a good to call. As long as the wheels don't spin on idle, we'll be all right. Yeah, see, I think we're ha I think we're almost three fourths throttle right there at idle. You think? Oh yeah. This is gonna get. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna have to. That's go. That's gonna, gonna, gonna go. Good it? jump. So we probably should loosen it. Yeah. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's too much. That was the maximum in the beginning. You remember? Oh, yeah. You're right. Like this. Just sucker outside. It just sticks like that. Everybody. And then this it goes on to here. Here you go, baby. So now you think we're all right? I think we're good. Hopefully, it's not just toast, huh? All right, now that we're Wiley Vets in the mechanical space for these guys, I'm gonna take this off, yep. take that off, take this guy off. This thing's gonna scoot. This, see, this one's actually scary. I'm not sure I want to go any faster. The, the go-kart's like not bad, but this, thing, this one scares me, especially on gravel. I can get her, I can get everything we need right here. Yeah, there's just the screws right here. They don't even make you take this off. They're asking for you to take this thing off. There's just one screw, pull that guy out, the spring. Okay, that's your throttle. Now we just tighten right here, right? Yep. Okay. I don't know if it's going to let me pull anymore. Yeah. Dude, this thing's going to scream. I love it. I love it. This is good. In reality, it's like a two minute fix too. Like for any of you guys that have these. Again, don't sue me. I just don't train professionals. Beat's taking off the engine. She wants? She wants? Oh yeah, baby. She wants to. She's scarier than what she was before, I'll tell you that one. Okay, let's try it real quick. All right, so we can try to get the other one out here and get you racing. Shoo, we are ready. We decided we're not gonna race, because one, we only have one helmet. Two, there's one narrow gravel road and there ain't room for the both of us. So somebody's gonna be up on the grass and then you gotta worry. I, I wanna truly see one, how much faster each of them are, and then two, is the bro ped faster than the go-kart go now that it's tuned up? Because I feel like it should be faster, but I don't know. Are, and are we sure the tires are properly inflated on this? I think they're fine. They feel about right. I say we do this guy first, since he's technically the slowest. All right, we'll get the speedometer ready. And this was going at 19. So with a simple tune-up, but a simple tw Adjustment. Lucy, you, you gotta get out of the raceway, buddy. No, Lucy. All right, well, I'm gonna head down and rip it back. Let's see how fast she goes. Stay tuned. All right, boys. Three, two, one. I have no, I have no idea how fast it went. I'll have to watch the replay here. How did that feel? So it definitely, I can feel the governor. Like it, it, it's like, uh, uh, and then it like yeah. stops and just uh, lets you cruise. So we had what, 19 last time? Whoa, Whoa, let's go. 22, three miles an hour is not bad for just a couple screws. Three, so now it's going about the same, it's going exactly the same speed as the other one. So I think that only means one thing. <laughs> I think the old go-kart's gonna take the dub, but you guys stay tuned. All right, fire me up, Junior. Son? Oh my God, he's scooting.
Are you good? Son of a bitch! You good? <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> hey, I'm about to kill it! Hey, bro! Hey! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Oh. oh, how's that doing? Good? I think it's good. Oh, that's covered in gas. Oh, Whoa. oh bro. bro, rip to the rip. <laughs> rip. Bro, who put that right there? I thought about moving it, but I was like, no, he's not going to hit it. Bro, look at the headlight. I hit the brake. I hit the brake. It locked the back and sent me sideways going I, 27, bro. Dude, I, I came around the corner and just saw you. I was like, oh, he's rolling. He's so oh, rolling. The tire's locked up in it. Like, I didn't mean to even drift yet. I just slammed on the brakes and my back end just went flying. Yo, look at the back end there. <laughs> oh, no, red, red. In the handlebars, look. Dirt. You got the no. Oh god. How, no, I'm all right. It hurts, but I don't think it's broken yet. <laughs> <laughs> what was your top speed? I don't even fucking know. I was I was trying to. You were like, keep going, Get, and I was like, bro, I'm gonna T-bone in the truck oh. if I don't stop. All right, let me look at the top speed. God, I thought I was gonna roll it. That would have been bad. I mean, at least it's got some. Oh yeah, you're not even buckled. No. Don't Holy do this shit. Up, kids. How fast? Got up to 28 before I slammed on the brakes, bro. I'm telling you, if I could keep going downhill, we could hit 30. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh Wait, my god. The actual go. God. I smacked my leg pretty good on something, that's all I know, but... I mean, we already increased it six miles an hour, and I bet we could get to 30. That was a good mod. Look at the headlights about to fall out. Rip! So is it good or no? This? Yeah. You see the handle? Oh, sh We can bend her back. But right now you got like the sport bike thing going on, so you just get a little... Like a little... Uh, Dude, this thing's dangerously fast. I'm lucky I didn't do, 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 like. I thought you yeah. were going to. The, honestly, the, if I was on, if I was on dirt, I would have the gravel plate because it, it kept, it didn't bite. If I would have bit, dude, I would have went. You would have. And my head sticks out. Above, doesn't happen. my head stick out above above this bar? Slightly. Yeah. So unless I ducked, I would have gotten. That's just chaos. You were like thing. sliding on the gravel going towards the grass. It's like yeah. when he hits the grass, he's gonna roll. Bro, honestly, <laughs> this, like, honestly this might have saved life. you. Yeah. From you think so? Yeah, I think so. Cause I, I hit that you. hard too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Dude, if I would hit the grass sideways, I definitely would have flipped. I should better tune it down before I have Brooklyn drive it, right? Probably a good idea. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. This is why you wear a helmet. This, and what's funny is I almost didn't wear a helmet for this because I, the reason why I wore the helmet is because I was driving that first. If I would have driven this first, I probably wouldn't have worn a helmet thinking no big deal. That would have been bad. That would have been bad. Don't, don't drive things without helmets. Even trained professionals like us, clearly, stuff happens too. Stay safe out there. And if you're like me and like to go fast, go ahead and take that little screw out down there and you'll be good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace.